Prepare to read. Working with others. Genre study. Informational text is nonfiction. It gives facts about a topic. As you read working with others, look for the main topic and details. Headings that stand out. Photographs. Set a purpose. You know that informational texts include facts. Make a prediction or good guess about the information you will read about in this text. Read to see if your prediction is right. If not, make a new prediction. Power words. Blamed. Argue. Respectful. Practice. Build background. Teamwork and cooperation. Did you ever hear the saying, two heads are better than one? It means that sometimes you can do things faster and better if you work with a partner or group. To work well with others, it is important to cooperate. That means sharing, taking turns, listening to others, and respecting their ideas. Working with others can help you get things done and it can help you learn from others, too. Working with Others by Robin Nelson You work and play with other people every day. Most of the time, you get along well. But sometimes, people do or say things that you don't like. Maybe someone takes one of your toys, or you are blamed for something you didn't do. Maybe someone calls you a mean name, or you feel left out. Maybe you argue with a friend. These things can make you angry. It is okay to feel angry sometimes, and it is okay to have conflicts with people. What do people do when conflicts make them angry? Some people yell and scream when they feel angry. Some people even hit other people. Yelling, screaming, and hitting do not solve conflicts. They hurt people and make problems worse. Some people walk away from conflicts. They want to be alone when they feel angry. They need time to calm down. Walking away is okay at first, but it won't solve anything. People need to work things out with each other. People should talk about their feelings. Talking can solve conflicts. Talking can make everyone feel better. We can solve conflicts without arguing. Take turns talking to let everyone share his or her opinion. Sometimes you will not agree with a person's opinion. Listen to what the other person is saying and ask questions. Use respectful words. Don't call each other names. Apologize when you are wrong. Make sure everyone has a chance to speak. Then you can solve conflicts together. Think of ideas to solve the conflicts. Decide which ideas will work best. If you are stuck, ask an adult to help you solve the conflicts. Ask someone to help who will listen and not take sides. You might have to compromise. Compromise means both sides must give up something to solve conflicts. Solving conflicts peacefully takes practice. Work together. Solve conflicts as a team. Talk them out and everyone will be happy. Dealing with anger. What do you do when you feel angry? You might feel too angry to talk about how you feel. Here are some ways for you to calm down and get the anger out. Take deep breaths and count slowly. Write down what happened and how you feel about it. Draw a picture. Listen to calm music. Read a book. Take a walk or do some other kind of exercise. Pound on a pillow. Stomp your feet. Talking things out. When you feel a little better, it is time to talk. Here are some things to remember when talking things out. Tell the other person how you feel and why you feel that way. Be honest. Ask that person how he or she feels. Remember that your body also tells a person how you are feeling. Show that you care about what he or she is saying. 
Don't cross your arms or make faces. Look at the person you are speaking to. Do the same thing when the other person is speaking to you. Listen carefully to what the other person has to say. Wait for your turn to speak. Apologize when you are wrong or if you hurt someone's feelings. Try to find a way to do things differently next time. Turn and talk. Use details from working with others to answer these questions with a partner. 1. Make and confirm predictions. What predictions did you make about the facts you would read in this text? What were you right about? What was different? 2. Use information from the text to describe things that can cause a conflict. 3. Why is it a good idea to make sure that everyone has a chance to speak when solving conflicts? Talking tip. Ask to learn more about one of your partner's ideas. Complete the sentence below. Please explain.